Soyuz crew launches on ultra-fast flight to space station. NASA's rover can explore the toughest terrain. Bird breaks record by flying nonstop from Alaska to New Zealand. And robotic dolphins could replace captive animals. Welcome to the What the Fact channel. This is Science News Summary, where we will cover the most interesting news about everything science-related that happens during the last week. Our topics range from medicine, neurology, and biology, to physics, technology, and space. So if you've had enough negativity in the press and you're looking for some uplifting news, then this show is just for you. Let's get started. A three-person crew successfully reached the International Space Station aboard a Russian rocket after the fastest ever journey from Earth. The mission of the Soyuz spacecraft, carrying two Russian cosmonauts and one NASA astronaut, was of immense importance to the Russian space agency Roscosmos, coming as the SpaceX program relaunches crewed spaceflight from the United States and ignites fresh talk of a space race between the two countries. Roscosmos said a new record for flights to the International Space Station was set. The total time from launch to docking of the Soyuz MS-17 was 3 hours and 3 minutes. Typically, it takes about 6 hours for a Soyuz spacecraft to chase down the International Space Station, and the Soyuz must complete about 4 orbits around the Earth. But the Soyuz MS-17 made it in only 2 orbits, making it the first crewed Soyuz spacecraft to try the fast-track rendezvous method. Russia has previously tested the two-orbit rendezvous method with its cargo resupply spacecraft called Progress, which is nearly identical to the Soyuz spacecraft used to transport crew. So far, five Progress missions have used the new two-orbit rendezvous method to reach the space station. Both Soyuz and Progress missions traditionally took about two days to reach the International Space Station. In 2013, the Soyuz spacecraft carrying three Expedition 35 crew members to orbit became the first to test out the new six-hour rendezvous. With today's flight, the Expedition 64 crew slashed that travel time in half. NASA is testing a new four-wheeled rover that can revolutionize space exploration. Made of a pair of two-wheeled vehicles, NASA's Dewaxle is designed to descend crater sides and near-vertical cliffs on the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The rover is actually made of a pair of two-wheeled rovers, each called Axle. To divide and conquer, the rover stops, lowers its chassis, and anchors it to the ground before essentially splitting in two. With the rear half of the Dewaxle firmly in place, the forward half undocks and rolls away on a single axle. All that connects the two halves now is a tether that unspools as the lead axle approaches the hazard and rappels down the slope using instruments stowed in its wheel hub to study a scientifically attractive location that would normally be out of reach. Rover was tested in the Mojave Desert in Southern California and put through a series of challenges to test the versatility of its design. According to engineers, the rover performed extremely well in the field, successfully demonstrating its abilities to undock, maneuver, and deploy instruments. While Dewaxle remains a technology demonstration and is waiting to be assigned a destination, its team will continue honing its technology. That way, when the time comes, the robot will be ready to roll where other rovers fear to ride. A bar-tailed godwit has set a new world record for the longest non-stop flight made by a bird in its over 12,000 kilometer that's 7,500 mile, journey from Alaska to New Zealand. The scientists tracked this particular male godwit, known as 4BBRW, for the colored identification rings on its legs, stacked blue, blue, red, then white, through its onboard satellite tag. In 2019, they caught and tagged the bird along with 19 other godwits in southeast of Auckland, New Zealand. The Endurance Flyer set off from southwest Alaska on September 16th. After leaving Alaska, the Godwit flew south over the Fox Islands and landed in a bay near Auckland in New Zealand 11 days later. His satellite clocked in at 7,980 miles, that's 12,850 kilometers, but rounding errors likely mean that the journey actually extended over about 7,580 miles, that's 12,200 kilometers. Previously, the longest non-stop flight recorded among birds was made by a female bar-tailed godwit that flew around 7,140 miles, that's 11,500 kilometers, in nine days in 2007. According to the scientists, the godwits are made for such lengthy journeys. They have an incredibly efficient fuel-to-energy rate, in combination with long-pointed wings and a really sleek design, which gives them a lot of aerodynamic potential. The World Meteorological Organization has welcomed the announcement by the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasts that hundreds of their forecast charts will become free and accessible to all. The changes are part of wider moves across Europe to make public sector data free and open, to encourage innovation, and to support a thriving, data-based digital economy. 
medium range, extended range, and long range forecast charts of temperature, winds, precipitation, clouds, and ocean waves are just some of the products that are becoming available. With the focus on ensemble prediction, charts also cover probability-based information, which provides a guide to forecast confidence. The likelihood of extreme conditions, as well as tropical and extratropical cyclone activity, are also included. Up till now, full access to these forecast charts was restricted to the national members and cooperating states, World Meteorological Organization members, and commercial customers. Access was also subject to a range of licenses and charges. Data, including forecasts dating back to the early 1980s, will be free and open, so users can share, redistribute, and adapt the information as they require, even for commercial applications, as long as they acknowledge ECMWF as the source. And here is the last piece of news for this week. Edge Innovations, a New Zealand company that created some of Hollywood's most famous animatronic animals, from movies like Free Willy and Flipper, has developed robot dolphins that look and act almost identical to their living counterparts. They hope that lifelike animatronics could one day entertain crowds at theme parks instead of wild animals held in captivity. There are like 3,000 dolphins currently in captivity being used to generate several billions of dollars just for dolphin experiences. And so there's obviously an appetite to love and learn about dolphins, said Walt Conti, the company's CEO and founder. The dolphin is created from medical-grade silicone with a length of 8.5 feet or 2.5 meters, weighs about 550 pounds or 250 kilograms, and goes from 3 up to $5 million per animal. The current version 2.0 is controlled via tether. The future version 3.0, however, should have batteries that allow it to swim for 10 hours without recharging. The company hopes its designs will be used in movies and aquatic theme parks instead of living animals. And if the idea is expanded, swimmers could one day dive with lifelike robot dolphins, great white sharks, or even Jurassic-era marine reptiles. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed hearing some positive news. If you did and you want to support this channel, please share this video with your friends or consider hitting the subscribe button. This is Alex, the voice of the What The Fact channel. That's all for today's episode, so stay curious and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.